Thanks. And just while I have you here, uh, I know he played here last year uh, against you guys, but um, how much do you enjoy, I guess, just catching up with Andre Iguodala when he gets to, you know, come back to town? So many uh, great moments with him in this organization. Um, how much do you enjoy just catching up and seeing him when he's playing you guys? It's not very often, obviously, since he's been on your side for so long. Yeah, Andre's uh, one of those guys who I will probably – keep in touch with forever. You know, we, uh, we connect in the off season, uh, because he's here, you know, we play golf, uh, you know, before the season started talked a lot about uh, Miami and our team and family and everything else. And, uh, so I have a, a really strong bond with Andre. Um, he is, uh, forever going to be, uh, someone I admire for not only the way he played, but the way he thought, the game and, and, um, handled younger teammates, mentored them. Um, he was, uh, just an enormous part of, of the, uh, the championship era here. And, uh, we, we definitely miss him. Hey Steve, this is uh, Marcus white from NBC sports Bay area, you know, with, with Andre coming to town, you've, you've mentioned before how you want Andrew to kind of play at the level that Andre played defensively when he was here with the Warriors, what similarities do you see between the two of them defensively? And, and what does Andrew bring? That's maybe a little different than some of the wing defenders you guys have had before. Well, the similarities lie in their athleticism and their length. Um, they're different players, you know, um, they're, they're very different. I think Andrew has been really good on the ball. We've asked him to guard, you know, some of the toughest offensive players that we face night in and night out. And he's locked in on that job and done uh, done a fantastic uh, job all season. Uh, Andre was more of a uh, kind of um, jack of all trades defensively. You know, he, he guarded everybody um, on or off the ball. He just had a knack, much like Draymond, for uh, blowing up possessions by understanding what was coming, um, you know, when he was on the weak side of the floor. 